Hi, so in video 1268 we took this thing and some of this and we ran a motor with it. Actually it gave considerable generation. I think it was 2 volts at like 70 or 80 milliamps or something like that. This is a Peltier device and you can buy them by themselves, in which case they look like that. Or you can scavenge them for things like fridges, those mini fridges is exactly what we did. Now if you put power into a Peltier device, one side becomes hot, one side becomes cold, which is how the fridge works. But equally, if you keep one side hot and the other side cold, then it generates heat, it generates electricity. Now it generates electricity from the difference in temperature. And we use this stuff, which is uh, burnt chalk or quicklime, to generate heat. Because when you add water to quicklime, you get a tremendous amount of heat. Now, the same happens with an awful lot of reactions in chemistry. So if you add water to sodium hydroxide, exactly the same thing happens. If you add water to zeolite, uh, X13, for example, exactly the same thing will happen. Now, the joy of this is that you're just adding water. So if you want to recharge it, all you have to do is dry it. Things like sodium hydroxide and zeolite will just dry in the sun. So you're effectively creating a solar heat battery that can directly generate electricity from something like a Peltier device. And of course, there's no moving parts. So there's absolutely nothing to wear out, which is super cool. Now, you have to create that heat difference. You can have one side hot and the other side in the air, which is your ambient, and you'll get a heat difference. Equally, you can do exactly the same if you make one side cold. Now on this one, we're going to put this heat sink back on. This heat sink was part of the um, original fridge. There we go. Part of the original fridge. And it helped with the distribution of heat. So we're just going to pop it back on just to hold it in place, put a screw back in. And that will capture the heat of the surrounding area. So we've got the ambient heat and what we need to do is make it cold. Now when a reaction is hot and it gives out heat it's called exothermic. Now the opposite of that is endothermic. An endothermic reaction will take heat from the environment to run its reaction and it will get cold. And a really cool one is this stuff. This is urea. It's the principal component of urine. Now, urea, when you add water to it, gets cold. So if I take my Peltier device with its heat sink on for the atmosphere, stick it in there and dissolve it, it's going to get cold. It actually gets very cold. And once that starts to get cold, what we get is the surrounding atmosphere at one temperature, this at a very much reduced temperature, and so we get the heat gradient that we want. And we'll get enough of a heat gradient to run this motor, which I think is just crackers. And there it is spinning away from the cold side, because we've got the colder side that way, and this is an ambient, so it's being warmed by the air around it. And like I say, Peltier's work from temperature difference. So this is an endothermic reaction, and of course, a lots of endothermic reactions. You're thinking about those instant cold packs, for instance, would do exactly the same. And to restore this, dry it in the sun. Now, we've in the previous video, we just did the hot side. In this video, we've done the cold side, showing endothermic reactions doing exactly the same thing. Uh, if we did hot and cold on both sides, then of course we'd get a higher temperature difference and more power out. So these reactions actually, coupled with the Peltier, are a great way of directly generating energy. Now, we are just using urea here, which made me um, smile, actually. I love that idea. But obviously the extension to this would be that idea of the hot and the cold. So you're looking at something like zeolite refrigeration where you get both the hot and the cold side by allowing water vapour to be adsorbed onto zeolite in a partial vacuum. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it sparked some ideas. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.